tells me that the Batman's car is still parked just outside what? of the intensive treatment building. Now, we can't just have him up and leave us, can we? Every thug, villain, murderer, and kindergarten teacher that is carrying out party orders should head there now and smash it up. So the Joker's free again. Not for long. Oracle, disable the Batmobile's countermeasure system. I saw the alert. What's wrong? Where are you? I'm outside the Arkham Mansion. Harley Quinn probably triggered the alarm. If she still got Gordon with her, he could get hurt. Okay, done. The Batmobile is still parked up outside the intensive treatment building in Arkham North. I sent you the schematics for the entire island. I've marked key locations like your car. Thanks, Oracle. of explosive gel in the trunk of the Batmobile. Harley trashed the car. Looks like there was a scuffle. I need to search the area around the Batmobile. There could be a clue as to where she took Gordon. Wild country. Gordon's favorite tobacco. Gordon's smarter than he looks. Left me a trail to follow. Oracle, I found a pipe. It has your father's initials carved on it. It was a birthday gift I gave him last year. There's no way he'd leave it. Exactly. He's left me a trail to follow. He's alive, Barbara. The security doors are locked. I'm going to have to find another way around to get back on I Gordon's trail. The wall ahead is weak enough for my explosive gel to blow through and open up a new path.
Joker here. Remember, I'm watching all of you. Wherever you are, even you. Yes, you. Where's Gordon? Wouldn't you like I'm to I'm over know? here! Shut up! Ah, you crazy bitch! Harley! Ah! What's he doing here? It's too early! I'm sorry, Puddin'. Don't be angry with me. Mwah! Oh, you little minx. I can never stay mad at you. Sorry, be mean. You'll have to find another way. Goodbye now! This way's blocked. Better search outside for another way in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some troubling reports of a bat infestation in Joker Asylum. Let me remind everyone that it is their civic duty to exterminate this vermin. We can't have it making its way back to the main. Of 
course you found that one easy. You were supposed to. Get off of me! Shut it! Get down there with the other! Move it! Okay, okay, I hear you. I'm going. Why does he need the doctors? I've got to save them. Wait here. It's not safe yet. What are we going to do? <gasps> Find him or we're in that Timmy. Batman, can you hear me? Show yourself! Is anyone feeling a little stressed out there? Your heart racing? Well, get a grip and stop that, or I'll fix your blood pressure permanently! Ain't hospital supposed to be clean? This place stinks. Clear. You're safe now. I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. We should go and help. Oh no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen went to surgery. And Dr. Young went to x-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other doctors. I'm here, Mike. Hold still. I'll get you free. I'll get you out of there. We're gonna be okay. patient's name is Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? That's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby.
Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. Let me introduce you all to the sterling work of our new head of research, Dr. Penelope Young. Since joining our team two years ago, Arkham is now at the forefront of research into understanding the human mind. Good afternoon, Arkham. Let's talk about the mind. How can such a... That's Dr. Young. Yeah, she can operate on me. as you've asked. Look, you think I care? Stop your whining and listen good. If anyone goes near you without Joker's express permission, then I've been ordered to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Looks like you're a bargaining chip. Gotta tell you, the boss is all over this job. Planned like a military operation. Friends on the inside and out. I am quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires strength. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker specify me? Why don't you let me talk to him? I'm sure we can settle. Ladies, I have to tell you once more, I am going to hurt you. You understand? Shut the hell up. If the boss wants to talk to you, he'll talk to you. Till then, keep that trap of yours zip. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true that Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been studying Joker's case for months when he broke out. The warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of his... God, I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility, hunting down the other doctors. Don't worry, doctor. I rescued you first, and now I'll search the other rooms. You wait here. It's dangerous out there. There are still more medical staff that need my help. And move slowly to their accommodation. Our findings have led to debates about whether psychosis is in itself neurotoxic, and whether potentially damaging changes to the brain are related to the length of psychotic episodes. Project Titan allows us to strengthen the individual's ability to cope with such changes. Early results were promising, but it was only after the arrival of Patient X that our expectations were raised. Patient X was the catalyst that led to a full-scale adoption of the Titan process. We must all thank our benefactors for this opportunity. We represent all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical, surgical, Batman! Don't speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! I know. Just not for me. <gasps> it's true! You really are the world's greatest detective! How did you do that, Bats? Oh, what the hell? Get down there, boys! See if he can detect being punched in the face! Okay, buddy. What are you waiting for? April Fool's Day? Get down there now! Jeez. Don't let him hit you, idiot! Don't get too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. 
Think of this as a preview to the main event. You'll see. I'm sorry. I tried to tell you. I couldn't speak. Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low-life thugs. Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. Oh, I'm not sure I can keep it a secret any longer. I've got two old friends coming to the party. One of them is to terrify you, Eve. How's it going? Well, let's just say he's going to be a surprise to see you, and you will be to see him. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, you would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is all... present all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical, surgical, diagnostic, and wellness programs. High quality of care, coupled with Arkham Asylum's convenient location, have ensured we are voted the number one facility in the entire state. Times have changed and this is That means son of a bitch. He's here! Will all patients please remain calm and be close to their economy? Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution. You would have believed. Boss, it's done. The room is. Oh. He's here! Oh. <laughs> Show that man! Cash, what happened? There was an alarm in medical. I heard someone shouting and found the doc lying on the floor. When I went to help him, the room was flooded with gas. These doors locked down. We can't get out. Don't know how long we can last. How oh, brave. Let's give Mr. Cash a great big hand. <laughs> Joker's filled the room with gas and we're trapped in here. I can sit in here all night, but the doc over there ain't looking too good. So what's going on? My radio went dead soon after you brought Joker in. Taped interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I've yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. 
My father hated me, always called me a moron. I see. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest at school. A $20 prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, you must have cheated. Admit it, you moron, you cheated. But I swore I didn't, and he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. 